Tonight, delivery drivers on edge after a string of robberies across the country caught on camera. In Memphis, dozens of people surrounding this FedEx truck as it was stopped in traffic, breaking the back latch before ransacking the inside and running away with as many boxes as they could hold. <laughs> Even after the driver starts to pull away, thieves run after the truck, jump on it, and take more boxes. In traffic, though, folks. In Atlanta, an Amazon worker returning from a delivery finds several suspects sprinting up to the truck, stealing packages at random from the back. These groups overwhelming drivers in a similar tactic used by flash mobs at retail stores in cities like Los Angeles and Philadelphia. Well, this is like my first time someone, someone's actively jumping on their vehicle on the street. Lifelong resident Cassius McGowan hosts a Memphis-based podcast. He says while looting at stores and on trains isn't uncommon in the area, a robbery like this is unique. How the person who was actually working feeling in, in that situation being like, how is this person going to continue to work? and feel like safe and you know this may happen again. The person be, be traumatized, it's PTSD. Similar concerns for drivers in Washington, D.C. After an Amazon delivery driver was carjacked at gunpoint, the van left smashed and the wheels stolen with that suspect still on the loose. We need these guys. They deliver our stuff and all that, man. So, you know, this got to stop. It's getting ridiculous. They have a job to do. These shocking robberies ahead of what's expected to be a busy holiday shipping season. Ship Matrix estimates that 82 million parcels a day will be out for delivery. Both FedEx and Amazon telling NBC News in statements that the safety of their drivers is a top priority. Amazon says employees receive de-escalation and safety training and that drivers should never make a delivery if they feel unsafe. The company writing in part about the Atlanta robbery, we're glad the driver in this video is okay. Thankfully, incidents like this are rare across our network. Nonetheless, even a single incident like this is one too many. All right, Maura Barrett joins us now live. Maura, you know, we heard there was no suspect arrested in D.C. What about the Memphis or Atlanta incidents? And again, all this video, it's, it's unbelievable what's happening out there to these, these poor delivery drivers. Exactly, and clearly a handful of suspects are involved, as we saw in those videos, and somehow there is nobody in custody yet in either one of those cities. I spoke to both police departments. They both told me that in Atlanta and in Memphis, these are ongoing investigations. Meanwhile, the Memphis mayor is actually calling out the court system, saying that it, quote, needs fundamental change to adjust what's going on out in the community. He noted that even when arrests do happen, the courts aren't punishing suspects in ways that could prevent them from doing it again, which is a very similar situation as what we saw in the smash and grab cases, Tom. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.